It's all right to be just a little bit crazy. Being creative is being a little bit crazy in just the right vibration. With that in mind, you should understand God's completely insane. <laughs> is very different than any other dimension because in 3D you have the illusion of separation and you have the experience of time. In no other dimension do you have that sensation. So think of it this way, we're all sitting around talking about new things that we can create for ourselves and we said what would it be like to think that we were separate from source? Now we know we can't be, but what if we thought we were? Wouldn't that be fun? And then we're all for, let's see how far we can go in the density, forget completely who we are, and see if we can get our way back out. That's what you're doing right now. The way that you do that is through integration. What is integration? Integration is releasing judgment of polarity. That you're not judging in any way, shape, or form. You are seeing all things as being equal. And with the mind, it was set up and generated, created, to keep you from remembering that you were a multi-dimensional being. Because what happened as you started the dissension process is that you remembered that you were multi-dimensional and kept pulling yourself out of the game. So you created these programs that kept you attached to a polarity, it kept you attached to the negative, to the positive. You created these judgments and beliefs that are illusions. Now you are never separate from your higher self. You just partition off part of yourself and say, I'm now this personality. You're not separate from source, you're not separate from your higher self, and you're removing these partitions. You are whole and complete as you are. And now you're just erasing the distortions. Perfect, thank you. If you really want enlightenment, then just lighten up.
Well, we got something new to look at now. Hey, where are we to see this? This is funny as hell. Look at it. I got in my van and I drive around the block. I come back around again. And, and there's the fence which is done. And they're taking stuff out of the car. And he's looking right at me and I'm pointing at that boot. And I'm laughing my fucking head off. The well, fence switch got the boot. I'm pointing and I'm just cracking up. I had to go around a second time and laugh some more. It was so goddamn funny. Yes, sir. The cunt got the boot and deserves it so much. It isn't funny. It just goes to show you what a scumbag she is. Oh yeah, then uh, then I saw a condo and we're both standing there talking and laughing our heads off about this boat. And I told him, I said, you see, there's nothing but shit and that proves it right there. She's got the boot. And check this out, Dave. Fence Witch has got the boot. That proves it. They don't care about anything. They don't give a shit about anybody and they do what they want to do. Oh man, I was like, I just slow it down so slow. I just stopped right in front of him and just laughed my fucking ass off. <laughs> oh my God. And it's a perfect setup. It is so perfect. It just goes to show you what kind of crap they are. Oh, they put out is what you on the couch. <laughs> that deserves that scumbag right. Hey, how about it? Since we got the boot. I love it. Mm -hmm. I'm talking the whole fucking world about this. Because we proved the point. I think she proved her own point, no, honestly. Seattle! <laughs> <laughs> she, she, proved her point, she proved her point right up her own ass, twisted and broke yeah, it off. They proved it for us! <laughs> you know, what you put we out right of it, what you get back, and when you put shit in, you get shit right back out of you. Uh, you gotta love it. Hey, if you're nice, you'll get nice. If you're an asshole, you'll get asshole. The only 50 30 years to learn that. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. Can't believe it. Fence which has got the fucking boot. I love it. There is a god. Oh, this is funny as hell. This just makes it so. Hey, everyone. The fence which is a bitch and she's got payment in full. I love it. I love it. I love it. God, did you do anything to her? Let's twist that energy to it. What you put out, the push it back. No, that's when I did it. Done. Really? Alright, I'll change your jeans. Oh. Folks, this is what we've been waiting for. They're towing it. Alright, I love it. Oh, the city at work. I love it. You guys are making my fucking day, let me tell you. Towing that car is the best thing that ever happened. No, the one you're on right now. It's a long story. You got a computer? Go on Google. Go to Fence Switch. That fucking bitch there has caused us more trouble than you can think of. She's nothing like, but a low light section 8 motherfucker. Okay. Fence Switch. Dot, uh, fence Switch. Fence, fence. On Google. Okay. Yeah, Rick, stand by. Start heading towards uh, Lawrence and Kidzie. I'll give you a number to cut in a minute or two. Man, if I had some money, I'd give you a tip. Motherfucker, <laughs> I'm telling you, man. This is the nicest thing I've ever seen. Beautiful. Go to the city power. Thank you very much. Hey, what's the daily charge on that? It's 150 for the tow. Uh -huh. Ten dollars a day storage for the first five days. After the fifth day, it jumps to 35. <laughs> and she's got to go pay all her tickets. <laughs> and if you want, well, I'll already put in the cost. I tell you, I just look up to how much you open. Probably quite a bit. Thank you. <laughs> yes, it does. And there is a god. <laughs> <laughs> I bet this is the first time you ever got thanks for towing a big <laughs> oh. oh man. I was waiting for this. This is going on YouTube too. Yeah, and the and the fence with song. It's all part of it. She she made us a lot of money. She made us a lot of money. Fence switch song. Right, yeah, she's out there in the window now, probably with a camera in her hand. That's cool. Yeah, she's an idiot. She, we got to go to court. We got to go to civil court with her. She, I got toilets hanging from my backyard, um, toilet seat, because she called the police on my girlfriend and told them that she was flashing her in the window. And uh, so we put a toilet up and says, "We don't flash, we flush." <laughs> oh, I love you. <laughs> oh. You're on YouTube, baby! Hey, this is this is the city that works. 
we were in civil court with her twice. And she took us to court and lost both times. Right. Because she, she, oh, it's a, you, you, we, oh, you can be known as you want. Oh, you're on the other side of her. Yeah, we're on the other side of her. No, nah, nobody can help. Well, the judge, we put a double-edged sword. She can't bother us, and we don't bother her. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that's that's not a problem. You know what? I got a feeling she's looking right out the window. She did. She had her camera out there. You know what? She, Wait, you're on YouTube. She called the cops on us in one year about 20 times for nothing. She called the cops on us for watering the parkway. How do you like that one? She probably took the Oh, yeah, baby. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> David's been waiting for this one. <laughs> Take care, buddy. Oh, we love you. <laughs> Later. <laughs> the fence with horses are against her. She was in the window. Hey, as I always say, he who fucks up gets fucked. <laughs> yeah, she was in the window again. And right, exactly. She can't do nothing. Oh, they're hating her. <laughs> she was just in the window <laughs> looking out at us. She had her, her hand out the, wind, out the shade with a camera in her hand. <laughs> I was laughing my butt off. And we've got it on voice here, what the guy just said. She comes out, he'll call the cops on her. Oh, I got it on mine, honey. Come on, guy, drive it away. It's only Happy New Year. the end of the world <laughs> as we know it. Oh, this is the day we've been waiting for for so long. The <laughs> We're gone. It. It's the Bye. end of the world as Be we careful know now. It. Don't scratch and that car. <laughs>
who is genuinely scared of her external reality. So from her worldview paradigm, you attach her first by simply being yourself as an individual and refusing to conform your will to hers. She honestly sees the world in this way, so exactly like a two-year-old who does not know any better, she enters herself into an outraged tantrum as she feels that the whole world is just being mean to her for what she perceives as being no apparent reason. So knowing that her actions are merely about her own chosen state of being and that it has nothing at all to do with you, then it makes it extremely easy to not take offense while simultaneously giving yourself the right to be extremely disapproving of her actions against you. When one is able to do this, it empowers a person to see opportunity instead of burden and affords them the liberty of being able to take responsibility and shift the circumstances into ones which they would prefer instead with a basic understanding of energy physics. She has in this way brought us much abundance, financial and a variety of other types. The lessons that our experiences with her have taught us have enabled us to see things in ways that prior we could not have even imagined before then. So I'm actually very thankful and appreciative to the fence witch, and I mean this with no sarcasm whatsoever. This does not imply that I would prefer her to stick around. It simply means that when I've been given lemons, I've made lemonade, and it all works out fine. I create these videos for my own enjoyment and learning, as well as to give others a good laugh, and to be an example for what is possible in this world. But we really don't need to submit to intimidation, and if we transmute fear to curiosity, burden to opportunity, and take the challenges we face and explore them as a fun adventure, as opposed to going into a panic, then much like how a jet plane is able to fly because it uses its tail and wing flaps to channel the resistance which wants to hold it to the ground and make it the world's most funky looking paperweight, you can take the resistance in your life, channeling that energy and converting it into something that will quickly propel you forward into success, much as a jet can fly very high, very fast, bank left, bank right, ascend and descend. For those who wish to think that all of this is merely just semantical bullshit, I respect your right to have an opinion which differs from mine and hold no judgment against you for it. So I'd like to wish all of you, including the Fence Witch, a very pleasant day. Though I'm pretty sure that Fence Witch already has made other plans, but I respect your right to that choice.
There's no point in talking about Linux if I can't edit my videos and record in Linux. I would say the Windows counterpart would be Sony Vegas Pro. And that's saying a lot. Kaden, I, 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 I.